to restore you from brokenness to intimacy. We all still together? Yeah. So we're going now, and we started again in the outer court, and we're walking inside of the holy place. So last week we talked about rebuilding openness, and today we're talking about rebuilding what? Connection. Rebuilding what? Connection. 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 You know, one of the things after something traumatic has well, happened to a relationship. You, you, you take someone out. If you're taking someone out on a real good date, man, you ain't taking them to McDonald's. Man, you start going to places and you realize the more expensive the place, the darker the place. They put some lights in there, so it smells good. They put it so dark you can't read the price on the menus. But look what God does in this. When you walk into the holy place, God sets up a table with what? Bread on it. There's bread on there. There's candles that give light. And then there's an altar that provides incense. Man, God's setting the mood. He's saying, man, we've had a broken relationship and we had stuff out, out there, but now that I want to kind of bring you in and we've got to begin knowing each other. You've got to know my heart and i got to know your heart. we got to spend time together. I want to set the mood. So God puts bread on the table, and who is that bread for? Because God never eats that. I mean, really, God, God says, I don't need you to feed me. God is setting a table so that as the priests come in, they eat it. And the, only the priests ate it as a representative of the people. But God is saying, I'm setting things up so that as we rebuild connection, I'm creating a move where you and I begin to know each other. And the three items inside of this kind of show us a picture of how we rebuild connection with God. Nothing in here is happenstance. Nothing in here is 